Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to give your dolls bangs, similar to mine. Whether you just purchased a new doll, or you've had a doll for a very long time, or you just freshly rerouted a doll, I will show you how to give her bangs that will stay nice and flat. Here we have a doll that I just rerouted, and as you can see her hair is kind of standing away from the head, kind of big, and this is very normal for freshly rerouted dolls so we will need to be heat setting. The supplies you will need are a brush, I have a dog brush here, a comb, I use rat tail comb quite a bit, a good pair of scissors is very important. You will need a strip of plastic, a little tougher than the sandwich one. So a Ziploc freezer bag strip, but one and a half inches by about six, seven inches wide. Scotch tape, water. And I also have a, a bowl or something with hot water. What I'm going to try to do is incorporate the boil washing method, which you're most familiar with. I do have an industrial heating oven, but unfortunately, Many of you, or none of you actually have that at home, so I will do my best to give you instruction on what to do in order to reach your, your goal of getting that nice flat bang without having that industrial heating oven. I believe that this method will work. It is my first time trying this, but um, after doing some brainstorming with my right hand man, I believe that this is really going to work and we will be happy with the results so let's get started the first thing you will want to do is wet your doll's hair not too wet but just enough to make sure that when we heat the head up it will actually set the style Here you have your part, make sure you're brushing away from the part and once you have all the hair brushed out on either side, you will want to go to the front area and brush this here, the front part hair, over the forehead, bringing everything kind of towards the front, covering the forehead and depending on how thick you want your bangs, you can either completely cover them or you can leave it kind of thin where you wouldn't bring so much towards the front and you would just kind of have you know, a little wispy bang. And I'm going to go ahead and do like a thicker bang, kind of like mine. So once you have the desired thickness of hair that you have covering your forehead, what you want to do is take your heat setting strip and this is something I work with on a daily basis. You wrap the head with this heat setting strip. And you tape it. And you want this to be pretty tight. This here might take you a while to, to get used to. The wrapping part, the hand um, control is a little bit tough sometimes. But once you get it, make sure you one more time. The heat setting strip and we're going to heat set so brush over and nice and tight hold it with this thumb bring it around keeping it tight that's very important actually and tape it now if you see any like gaps you can pull down this hair here to adjust how much hair is going towards the front so this is what we have now i will now get my bowl of water and it's actually it was boiling a little while ago but now it's just very very hot and what I will do so that we don't get our dog completely drenched in the hot water we're going to place her in this plastic bag to avoid her from getting more wet And 
I don't have anything smaller here in the office, so I'm using this bin that you can use any type of bowl or maybe like a baby wipe dispenser, empty dispenser, something like that. So I have her in a bag here, which will avoid her from getting her wet. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the hot water. We want her to stay submerged. So find something to place on top to keep the head down. I'm sure you can figure out a way. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this water bottle on top of her head. There we go. The goal is just to keep her in there for about 10 minutes. Okay, now we will take this head out and it should be pretty warm to the touch. Not too wet, but really warm. What you want to do now is take this head and stick her or your doll. If your doll is intact, your doll body is intact, go ahead and stick her in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Now that I removed the head from the freezer, we will take the sleeve off and you will see that the hair is flat against the face. This means that it was heat set correctly. It should not stand away from the head at all. If that happens, you need to repeat the first steps prior to cutting your bangs. Now I will go ahead and cut the bangs. I'm going to check where my nose is here, do my measurements. Here's our eye. Here's our other eye. It looks about right. Now cut the bang a little longer than you would like the end result to be. This way you, you don't cut it too short because you can always cut more. And you can go basically over the bridge of the nose. Use that as your guide there. And cut straight across. And if you need to hold your hair on the sides with clips, you can go ahead and just place a couple clips here to keep that out of your way. So now we have bangs, they are a little long. So I will go ahead and go a little shorter. There you have it. Thanks. You will notice that you have a few little hairs here. You don't want to cut into this, into the plastic of the face. So you can squeeze. And when you squeeze, your bangs will pop up and that will allow you to go in there and get all the little extra hairs. And there it is. Straight, blunt bangs. And of course, you can go as short as you want. I'm barely hitting the eye here. There are many ways of achieving bangs. And of course, there are those curly bangs and layered bangs. But this is your basic blunt cut bang. 